Uh, I think most people have a pretty good idea what we're doing. So I'll kind of cruise through this and just focus on one or two things. Um, our mission statement to bring open interoperable conversation layers over all knowledge, which means open source, clients, server, um, interoperable system based on standards, conversations for humans or machines in layers coming from different group community groups or even different services um, and over all knowledge. So any format, any document, any media type, browsers, devices, etc. Based on a standard web annotation standard from the chip last year. Um, so, you know, kind of conceptually, this is what it looks like. And these are the basic product themes um, that we have. So one is around format coverage, um, text, images, video. Another focus is on comprehensive browser support, um, both through the client itself, as well as plugins. Um, the ability to be embedded, so plugins for OJS and um, uh, WordPress and um, even things like Google Drive and so forth. Um, a lot of focus on frictionless authentication, supporting different models. Um, I'll talk about federated architecture and then communities really is about the idea that um, and there's lots of different potential use cases of annotation happen in different layers um, for yourself, for, for a group of people that you invite for a broader community. What's coming right now, we're shipping, oops, didn't finish that sentence, um, LMS plugins and LTI support for Canvas, Moodle, um, Blackboard, um, and other systems. Um, education is a big um, use uh, for us. A lot of effort this fall on scaling. We're starting to see higher volumes, uh, so we need to be able to support that, both for system that we run as well as um, infrastructure that other people might run. Um, different group models. Um, right now we support closed groups, but we're about to flip on uh, open and read-only groups um, for broader deployment. We have kind of going and limited deployments now. And then special kind of group um, modes like um, having a group that requires an ORCID in order to be able to participate. Um, notifications, um, so being able to be notified of an annotation that somebody annotates some page, you said I want to listen to any, for any annotations on that page, <coughs> being able to listen to, to annotations from a group, um, to be able to subscribe to annotations from, an in, from a user, all those different kind of social modes. Um, other kind of key features like much more comprehensive export um, capabilities and, and things like that. Um, and then the last thing is the multi-service client, which I'll talk uh, a little bit here. So um, these different annotation layers should be able to become, to, to be able to exist in that you can have different layers, but they should also be able to come from completely different services run by um, different um, organizations. So kind of conceptually in our little group pull down at the top, it might look like this, like eLife is running their own service. Hypothesis is running a service and a pharma company is running a service behind their firewall for their own purpose in annotating documents. Everybody should be who's operating in very different modes within the community for different purposes, commercial, non-commercial, should be able to use the same infrastructure um, to do the things that they need to do. Um, that supporting that kind of ubiquitous um, model that implement that's fundamentally based on a standard is um, super important to us as this is something that um, will be coming over the next year or so. Um, and what we would love is your ideas about how to use this kind of capability to serve these kind of layers. So one thing we'd love to walk away with today is, is um, ideas we talked to um, Ivan at, at Retraction Watch, for instance, about having a retraction layer that's universally discovered. Lots of annotations happening, use is increasing. Uh, and then um, thanks to a lot of you who've been partners with us in, in helping 